Now, family in Tampa knows exactly what it's like to be separated for months. They were only able to chat through FaceTime. It hasn't been easy. easy. Tonight, a local woman who has been trying to get her dad home tells 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo the isolation almost killed him and the state needs to do more. He's so funny and he's got a great heart. Walter Bernstein is an 83 year old veteran. He almost lost his life in the ICU back in April while battling sepsis and pneumonia. The doctor said he's, you know, He's not going to make it. Four days later, his vitals picked up, but he still had to stay in the hospital alone. Not having him communicate with me, that, I mean, it, it was still extremely difficult. After one month, Walter was transferred to Excel Care Center in Tampa. That's where he is now. Susan can visit because of the coronavirus pandemic. While Walter was in the hospital and the rehab center, the only connection he and Susan had was through the phone. How are you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing uh, lousy. You're doing lousy? Their video chats keep Walter alive. Susan has been pushing for him to be discharged after finding out he tested positive for COVID-19. She says he's asymptomatic. He said to me, you know, on several times, you know, this is not what I live for. I wish I would have just died when, you know, in, when, when I was in the ICU. The isolation and lack of love have impacted Walter. We're trying to protect them from the virus, but then instead we're killing them from the isolation. Thankfully, Walter is doing better now. He's going to be coming home tomorrow. I love you. I love you too, honey bunny. This is their last time on the phone before being able to hold one another. So excited about that and and feel so blessed. Very nice. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Susan is a part of a group that is sending a letter to Governor Ron DeSantis. They're asking him to make some changes to the visitation rules at nursing homes and at hospitals.